Hello there, what's the story, what's the crack, how y'all keep it? This is the Panama GS Panama and welcome to Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 14. I've been so excited to play this ever since I first heard that it was just around the corner and yeah, it was bad timing on my part for Alpha 13 uh, recording as it's kind of going to overlap the start of this, but eh, what can you do? Um, we're just going to jump straight into the game and I've already created a custom scenario. Uh, as soon as I heard there were scenarios, there was only one thing I was going to do and that was this sort of Star Trek away mission based thing. Instead of going into too much of the details here, we do start with five people, we arrive in drop pods, uh, we have chances of having what I would assume would be uh, traits that are typical of a, <laughs> sounds so nerdy, Starfleet officers and we start with, I, <clears throat> this is going to take a lot of tweaking and so again, voice has been grand all bloody day and now I've gone to record and on the way it goes. Um, because we would have an engineer and a scientist and all that kind of stuff I didn't want to overdo what kind of research we would start with but shipbuilding basics is one that we're going to start with hydroponics is another and I have no idea what this is I probably should look into it and we start with a few assault rifles and pistols uh, some meals and some medicine and there's something scattered about the map so nothing too crazy uh, for this one maybe do rough Phoebe Chillax just so they can get uh, up to speed with things but if it proves too easy we'll uh, let's randomize a few times Utaka yes on that size generate and I'm thinking that to go with the crash landing scenario we wouldn't really be able to choose um, the premise being you know something goes wrong with the shuttle's warp core you sort of the abandoned ship and you aim for this planet and you land so if we get random site uh, it is a temperate forest Marble sandstone granite, sixth of spring to the sixth of fall growing period. Lows of minus five, highs of twenty six, average of ten. I think, you know, you just see me. I clicked random, and we're just going to choose that one. <coughs> now this one's going to take a while, so yeah, this will be eventually edited out, and I'll just go through everyone that we have at the end. And welcome back. Now, don't judge me on this. I could have spent two hours here making sure that the uh, sexes matched up with the names and that we got the perfect stats to match uh, the various people making up or away team, but I couldn't be arsed. So, uh, Miles O'Brien is now a female colonist of age 54. And because he's this, the engineer type, I decided to give him primarily on construction. And yeah. Uh, this was the last person I actually did. I started from the right here and I was getting bored. Uh, Bashir is our healer, also a female now, high on medicine and social, which, you know, a doctor needs, and incapable of violence, which I think is kind of appropriate. Uh, Kira here, who is the away mission leader, um, could probably have done with better stats in terms of like social and all that kind of stuff, but since none of the stats here were terrible, and is the lover of Odo, so for anyone who's watched the show <laughs> knows that's appropriate. Um, so I decided to go with that. Uh, Dax here, he's now a male, which is highly unfortunate, is the science uh, sort of person in this group with a research of 15. And as partly he's the son of Odo, so that's going to be a complicated relationship. And yeah, I kind of think I might just change this one. Let's keep going till we get a good researcher once again. 12 female. Uh, 37, that'll do. And you can be changed to uh, Dax and Jadzia. So, um, well, and then Odo here is obviously the lover of Kira the Reese, and uh, good melee shooting and all that kind of crack. So, yeah, that's the security role. Each person needs a valid name. Does that mean, uh, uh, Bejar, Juni Bashir, uh, what was, what was he, what was, he was, I know he had his DNA uh, changed, but there's a term for that and it's slipping me right now, uh, superhuman, not a loot, Miles Brian, he's fine, Kira, yep, and O can be on, Known. Ah, I need a spell right. Sample. Because that's what Odo stands for. 
generating the map. It is tempered for us, so it shouldn't be too out of this world, although we are crashing. On your way back from an away mission, your shuttle's war core began to overload. You sent out a distress signal before making your way to the skip pods. You and your away team crash land on an unknown rim world and must survive until either you find a way off the planet or are rescued. So let's see how this goes. And boom, here we go. Right. Now, Odo, you are going to get an assault rifle. I was pretty sure you could uh, start with like pulse rifles or something like that because you can get them in the game. But apparently, nope. Uh, who is this? That's Dax. Equip. Kira, equip. Whoops, that's been reserved by Odo. Uh, Bashir can take a pistol. Although he's incapable of violent. Uh, and Miles here. You can equip the pistol. Okay, so we started with a bit of medicine and a bit of food. But these are Star Trek officers. They can get the things. That's... Oh, I forgot that you didn't start with any metal or wood or anything. Oh, and it's very open. There's not even going to be much to mine. Probably the ancient danger there. What is this? Jade. I've never, never seen Jade on a map before. So these are machine component or compact machinery. Some more compact machinery. Some still there. Some silver, I think it is. Yeah. Some st no, it's comp uh, compacted steel once again. And yeah, not a lot going for us in terms of the the ores front. But again, this is this is what happens. You don't get to choose where you crash land. You just crash land. That's why it's called crashing. So I think we are going to build around this. Use this as a sort of a central point of the map. Um, probably want to get mining. Whoops, what did I select? Cancel that. Uh, architect orders mine mine this please uh, no gonna get the chop chop wood um, everyone's gonna be hands on at this stage because we are definitely definitely in a tight spot with the kind of starting scenario I gave but I kind of want it to be difficult alongside um, doing this on Phoebe Chillax difficulty. So there's a balance there between the, the sort of more laid back uh, dangerous tone actually from the Phoebe Chillax uh, game style and giving ourselves a starting scenario that's sort of, I tried to make it as reminiscent as possible of a possible crash landing scenario other than the fact we don't have a shuttle here that has crash landed. Maybe, maybe you can have a mod that does that but again, literally installed this game like 20 minutes ago. Um, so yeah, that'll we've got wood being cut. We've got stuff being mined there initially. What we need to do now is grow, grow area. Uh, seven by eleven, please. So we do have a good long grow area, but we're already a few days into our growing season, so we need to start this as soon as possible. Um. I'm going to make four here to start with um, and see what we can get out of it. But these ones here will be two smaller ones. So 11 by 3. For all our materials in this one here. Um, the potato plant, yes. Uh, how about the rice plant? There's one more. Strawberries need a min scale of 5. Oh, that's right. There's minimum skills now for some of the uh, jobs, and, and clearly you can see plant medium min skill 5 for strawberries, uh, min skill 8 for heel root, and 7 for a hot plant. And I'm not too sure what our skills are like. Uh, we'll have another potato there. Um, hmm. Hold on, let's actually <coughs> take a look at the workers. Let's manually prioritize this. So, uh, everybody firefight. If there's a fire, everybody be patient. If you need to be a patient. Now, Dr. Bashir is the main doctor. Hopefully he has the highest doctoring stats, yes. And Kira can, <coughs> apologies for that again, can do some emergency stuff um, if she needs to. No, resting in bed, yes, everybody rest. Uh, everybody flick, actually. Whoops. If I need you to, warden. Uh, well, Bashir is the best warden, but he'll have a be a two. Kira's going to be one. Just she's the natural leader role. 
and Odo here. Oh, he can definitely do bag of board because it's kind of security. I uh, don't care about animals who didn't start with any cooking. Now, who has the highest cooking skill? Five is so far the highest. Ooh. Okay, Bashir, if you literally have nothing else to do, then you really need to cook. Uh, but Kieran Arise is going to be the starting cook here. Again, hunting can be... Ooh. Odo is definitely going to hunt. And O'Brien can... Yeah, we can... One, one hunter for now. O'Brien's definitely a constructor. Repair. Uh, ooh, you terrible mining. Oops, wrong one. So you're our best miner. Odo, that's... That's kind of terrifying. But then... Dax can do a bit of mining. So who's going to grow? You have a growing of seven. Uh, you have growing of three. Oops. Uh, growing of four. Four. And two. So we'll leave uh, Bashir's off there. Anybody else good at constructing? No. Repair. Everybody can be repair and construct if they have nothing else to do. We'll rejig these after a bit. Plant cut. Um, if if plants need cut, cut the goddamn plants. Don't care about those at the moment. Hauling. Yeah. Everyone can be 3-3 three, three haul and Dax is our uh, researcher so she will have that. So we do have a grower of skill 7 which means we can get some strawberries there does it mean we can get heal root? no that is highly highly unfortunate so yeah some more potatoes and I kind of want to save that for heal root so maybe uh, with a bit of bit of time passing by um, people can get sorted pretty quickly let's unforbid that yeah, Collins needs bed, need rooms. I know all of this. Uh, yeah, let's speed this up a bit. A structure. Wood wall, please. And for tonight, in here will do to get everybody out of. Oh, what do you call it? Out of from sleeping outside. And yeah, that's another thing. You do have to manually assign roofs to be built now. And we didn't there because the cave was, or the mountain here was providing a natural sort of roofed area. But yeah, what was the thing I was going to put on here? Furniture, sleeping spot. It's going to be a bit crowded in here, folks. But you know what? He's, he's we're on a shuttle. He's, you know, calm down. So yeah, there's the five sleeping spots for five colonists. And nobody better be idle because I'll be flipping raging. I'm going to need all the steel we can get because I didn't start with any. And um, there's very little on the map. So yeah, we're going to need storage set up. Production. No. Ugh, structures. Wooden wall. Hmm. Can I just want a basic storage room? So if we do... 13 by no that is not right what am I doing that's just, that's just going to be 12 isn't it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 yeah no it can be 11 by 11 that'll do the job so yeah that's that's 11 so if we just bring that to there all the way down so what's what's the interior here it's 11 by 11 yeah uh, we can cancel those and those uh, cancel all of those actually and put on a wooden door to each ah it's not where I meant to build that let's cancel you sir there we go and continue on so we will make our first uh, storage area in here. Stockpile zone. A chunk of spacecraft has fallen from space and landed nearby. That's appropriate. Um, 
storage. Uh, don't like corpses. I don't like everything for now. So where did the spacecraft chunk land? Hopefully I can spot it without having to zoom in. There it is. Boom. And we will sort that out after a while. But again, it is very, very low priority right now. More important is getting things set up. Because we do have to be concerned with the fact that we only have, what, 34 simple meals? Five people to feed. Food needs to be grown, food needs to be cooked, power needs to be generated. Um, and the roof is getting done. Very nice indeed. Good man, O'Brien. Now, the next thing. What can we get in terms of power? We can get a fuel generator. Or we can just go straight to solar panels and that kind of stuff. We don't have a lot of steel. But this takes up steel, but a solar panel takes up 100 steel. And see if we go into production. You can have fuel stuff here, a fuel stove. That, that's all we need at the minute. Yeah. We'll work with that, but structures, we need another structure set up. Um, trying to just plan this out as much as I can in my head. So we've, that was five, five. Uh, so yeah, you can, no, need to be 11 wide, sorry. judge me yet so we have that and then we can have can we build here yes we can of course we can why did I not go the whole way down Lord only knows we will easily rectify that I'll also need whoops similar system here um, This will be the freezer at the end of that's that's what I'm planning out here. And these are sort of little airlocks so that the temperature doesn't affect the other rooms. And we can have another wooden wall there. Wooden wall, wooden door there. So we should be able to get a lot of stuff up and done pretty quickly. And due to the fact we have a good number of colonists and people are just working away doing their own thing. This is quite a big uh vein, thankfully. That was one thing I completely forgot to overlook. Uh, I, I forgot to overlook. That I overlooked. Um, we are probably going to have to push towards smithing and stuff and start uh, smelting these kind of things. But for now, it is nothing to worry about. Okay, now everybody's away to sleep. Mightn't have the. Hold on, who doesn't have. Odo has a pistol. Why do you have a pistol? Bashir has a pistol. Kira has an assault rifle. O'Brien has nothing. Dax has an assault rifle. Okay. There's a few animals to hunt. Um, it would be worth seeing to that as soon as possible. But again, I'm guessing this might be an ancient danger, which would be unfortunate. But yeah, there's quite a few small critters. And thankfully, after the last episode I bloody had, or the last playthrough, no boomalopes. Fucking thank God for that. Small mercies. So over here we have 420 steel, we have no components either. Again, this is like one of the biggest veins of steel I've ever saw. Which is absolutely fantastic. And since she'd be mining away, oh, we'll also need to mine the silver because we started with no silver. Federation does not believe in currency. <laughs> oh, I'm getting the nerd out so much and playing video games and talking Star Trek. Uh, in the short term, we may have to gather some plants, but thankfully, Phoebe Chillax should allow us to get the basis, basics in place without like too much, much to worry about. I know I'm kind of babysitting this mining here, but you know, it has to be done. And yeah, everything's getting moved in, which is fantastic. Spoils in two days because it's not refrigerated. That is not so good. Uh, architect. 
zone areas expand the roof area yeah that's fine that can be expanded to that just make it all nice neat and tidy and yeah that just just annoying me i have to do it there we go um stockpile zone do it there first start there finish it off this stockpile is only going to be for well priority critical clear all food yes what's the raw resources again stone blocks new manufactured uh, medicine yes raw resources what is in this i already looked at that never mind hops can come in here though items weapons barrels body corpses animal corpses done now i'm gonna have to look at power uh ch -ch 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 -ch. No. power wind turbine we don't have any um components as of yet but only need two so hopefully we can uh are we already harvest oh that was a a bush that was harvested I'm not sure what to go with here solar two solar generators uh and a battery and then just simple power conduit then we'll need to go to temperature cooler uh there that should do it I mean, it might keep it cold all the time, but it'll it w w will get the job done for a portion. So we're gonna build that there, and then we're gonna put a little uh, stockpile beside it. They two different stockpiles, aren't they? No, it's the one stockpile. Storage, uh, clear all priority normal, and we shall take wood, wood only. Priority preferred. Because there's going to have to be a hand fed stove, which is fine. And away everyone goes once again. Yet more. Um, still to be mined out there. Then she'll get onto the components. We get a bit out of that. Which is onto the silver first. There shouldn't be too much in here, but. I uh, also need to put a dumping stockpile. We can that there for now storage allow rotten no animal corpses and yeah, don't worry about chunks up for now so yeah not a pile of silver there but it's a little bit that allows us to get started trading we might be able to buy you know the odd little meal source or something and overall it shouldn't be too bad so yeah most of the stuff here is got its initial it's probably got all the steel, it's just the components that have yep, yeah, it's the components we're missing. And to that end actually, let's cancel that and that, so she just mines the components. And is she doing that? Say she, is she a female? Yes she is. And the roof's getting finished there by O'Brien, good to see, it's missing a wee bit in the corner here but You'll get around to it. Good woman, Dax. Good woman. Get them machine components done. Now again, this scenario that I am doing will be tweaked a lot um, in the future. This is just literally the game. It's 20 minutes old. I wanted to record. I wanted to do the idea of the abandoned away mission. And lo and behold, here we are. I wonder will we get many more components out of this? No. Looks like they'd only be that. And she doesn't finish it. God damn it. We have a visitor. Uh, Mark Steroid Cook. He has a few items to trade. Jump to location. Where are you? Steroid. You're coming all up nope, from all the way down there. Kira is our primary. Trade with your man. So what do you have? You have some medicine, you have some simple meals. Uh, we're not going to give you any more of ours. Well, you don't have simple meals, you only have... Oh, you do, you have three. Take all of those, please. 
So that would be minus 68. And... Um, how many components can we get away with? Ooh. New one component. Except. So a bit of food. Uh, some components. All kind of stuff we do need. Um, your target temperature will be oops, minus 10. Minus 6. Because why not? Low on food. Pretty sure I was aware of that. But to that end, let's harvest. Ooh, not a lot there. Or there. A few there. Yeah, we probably want to get hunting pretty soon. And of course, as soon as we have the chance for power, it all goes away. Cut plants. Everything in here needs to be cut. Because it's a storage area. We, don't, we can't have plants growing in amongst our food. It's crazy. And everybody's asleep once again. So, yep, and that's it. Power. So, for example, this will now spoil in four, three, two. Power's coming back on. Hopefully, it'll freeze. Again, nothing else is using power at the minute. Just, just the cooler. So, what shall we call this? Um, well, we've had Cardassia Prime, which was also a Deep Space Nine planet. We've had, what was the one? Cobol, which was with Battlestar Galactica. So, I feel as though this one should be, should follow a similar vein. It should be sci-fi related and I had a doomed colony that all the recordings failed on for various reasons called SETI Alpha 5 which is uh, if anyone knows Wrath of Khan. So I'm trying to figure out what would be never mind Defiant D-E <laughs> Better if I could spell it right. Defiant. That is the name of the main ship in Deep Space Nine and it seems appropriate the Deep Space Nine away team are now abandoned on this world they have to be defied against all the odds in order to survive and boom the community is now known as Defiant and everybody's in to eat and I think that is an appropriate way to end episode the colony of Defiant is now up and running and yeah slowly but surely we shall make our way towards getting off this planet and yeah i'm really 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 looking forward to see what alpha 14 has to throw up but until next time this video is over please please god go away and until next time uh, good luck and goodbye